Marion and I are here in Augusta, Georgia, standing in front of the Lucy Craft Laney uh, Black History Museum. And wow, what a wonderful treat we've had. This has just been a great vacation. For you sisters who were in the area of Augusta, I know that you know how much a treasure this is. And for those of you who don't know, but you're nearby, make it a point to come and visit here. I was inspired yesterday when we took a tour of the museum because we learned that Lucy Craft Laney was the daughter of freed blacks here in Augusta. We got a wealth of information about so much, so much, so much African American points of history. And then it was interesting to go down to the Augusta Museum of History and see that they had a very small note card sized placard which said that she was the daughter of former slaves. And I said to myself, wow, what is the power? What is the power of being able to tell your own narrative and your own words? The difference between saying the daughter of free blacks versus the daughter of former slaves. Is there a story in that for you? I hope there is. And I hope that story is that it's important for us to tell our own stories. And that's why I am reaching out to you again for this opportunity to be a part of our Memory Worker Project. Our oral history project with Zami Noble of the National Organization of Black Lesbians on Aging. If you are a member, you have seen information about this in the Gaggle email list and more will come today. So check your email for that. But it's a wonderful opportunity for you to write the narrative for older black lesbians as we collect these incredible, incredible histories and share our stories with those who will read it in the future and be like, wow, like I was about uh, <laughs> Lucy Crab Laney. And I'm gonna say her name as much as I can in order to let her roll off my tongue because she was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And so are we. We have women who have stories to tell, with stories to tell, and I'm inviting you to be a part of that project so that we can set the story straight by preserving our own histories. Because what do I always say? We need a receipt of our existence. So be part of this incredible project, this year-long project, where we're collecting oral histories of women in the Zami Nobla chapters and other older black lesbians, so we can set the story straight. Thank you, my sisters, and I'll talk to you again soon.